don't always see the night. They say they want a real one. They say they want a real one to make them feel young. Hey yo, what's good family? Welcome back to Astro Nori for another video. Today we're actually gonna be talking about some retail and resell prices for the box logo this week. The prices are super high, but I feel like that means that quantity will be low and resell would be even crazier for it. I feel like this is definitely a must cop if you're trying to resell or if you're trying to hold it for the personal. But if you do end up enjoying this video, go ahead and leave it a like down below. It definitely goes a long way. Subscribe to the channel if you are new and would enjoy more of this type of content. Also, go ahead and click the post notification bells. Matter of fact, post notification shout outs right there, man. I haven't done it in a while, but shout out to y'all for showing love on the videos, man. Go ahead and click the post notification bells and you could be shouted out right here. But without any further ado, man, let's get straight into this video. All right, so yesterday I did cover the full drop list. If you guys do want to see that, we probably do got a couple more pieces that were added onto the drop list. Like I said, there would be, but them shits are type ass. I'm not even gonna lie. I'll probably talk about them in a little segment in this video, but mainly I want to talk about resell. The fact that there's going to be probably four colors for each or three and shit we're going to get straight to it so we're going to start off with the box logos today we actually received the full picture of four color box logo hoodies and all them shits look clean to me we got the black on black the navy with the red box the gray with the red box and then you got that red on red to me that navy with the red goes crazy the black one is super fire the gray and red is iconic i feel like these are their main colors when it comes to box logos and hey the fact that they did it in so Rovsky is going to be pretty crazy. Now, retail for these shits is $5.98. It's estimated, but this shit is expensive, bro. After tax and shipping, damn near $700. But resale for these should be $1,500 plus, honestly. I don't see there being too much quantity when it comes to these pieces because they are hand set. If I'm not mistaken, the hoodie has 1,200 little Swarovski crystals and the shirt has like 1,120 or something like that. They were all hand set and that's why the price is what it is. Is, I honestly could see it like that's a lot of labor bruh 1200 crystals hand set into every hoodie that's insane bruh and they were all done in New York from what I read shit is crazy bruh like these are actually handcrafted at this point and that's why the price is what it is and that's why I feel like resale would be insane it doesn't matter what color you go for it doesn't matter what size you go for profits are gonna be crazy regardless I honestly don't even know if I'm gonna go for my size when it comes to these because I honestly just want to get one hey if I get it I might have to flip it unfortunately even though i would want it for the personal but the same shit as the hoodies we got them we got them we got the tees too these shits are they cool like it's the same shit as the hoodie but i feel like the t is a little bit more problematic because i want to know if the box itself is heavy and will it weigh down the shirt or you know all that type of stuff is things that you need to know is the actual swarovski backed on the inside of the shirt so it doesn't bend and shit like that that's all things you need to know specifically with the shirt because with the hoodie i feel like it's strong enough for it not to bend not to fold type shit but hey these shits are still hard don't get it twisted four hundred dollars for the shirt i really hope this shit is like super premium quality and not just because of the box on it honestly but hey i think the shirt is gonna drop in three different colorways that's what i can see right here that's still not bad honestly i do like it i wish they would have did the navy with the red shirt because that would have been iconic and i honestly don't think they've done a shirt with those colors but that's neither here nor there all i know is that these 25th anniversary bogos are gonna go crazy down the line imagine when it's the 50th anniversary these shits are gonna be worth racks like the bait box logo type shit these are hard i feel like i spoke about them enough if you're trying to go for them it doesn't matter what size what color it doesn't matter like just try to go for whichever one you can and whichever one you secure you're good like you are good trust me these box logos are crazy and all but i do want to talk about a couple other items i might touch on the bogo a little bit more the shirt is actually rumored to drop for 398 which is steep bro if i'm gonna pay that much i'd rather just pay for the hoodie at that point and hey that's how i'm thinking but that's how i'm gonna do it we also do got this hammock coming out and i feel like it's gonna drop for at least 128 138 it's rumored that it might be 188 and honestly that might push me to the edge i don't know i just don't know if it's 138 128 i'm possibly gonna be going for this because this is the chillest piece they've dropped all season this is like the canoe but for this season i need this bro like i got the trees set up i just need to put it on 
on there and I am chilling, bro. Straight catching a breeze. That's how I'm trying to be with this hammock right here. The retail is going to be not too high and the resale probably might be there. Honestly, I don't even know, bro. It depends on how many people want these. I feel like the red or the camo colorways are the best when it comes to this piece. Personally, I like the camo one more than the other two, but I feel like the red one might do good as well because it is supreme. I do like the camo one and I might have to go for it depending on the retail because if it's anywhere near 200, that's a little bit excessive in my opinion. Resale wise, I don't know if this is worth it, but if you're trying to hold it for a little while, it might be worth it. I'm pretty much just covering the most hype pieces that are going to be dropping this week. We also do have the knife coming out in those two colorways. I feel like resale wise, it's probably not going to be there, but retail is probably going to be like $40-ish. That's my opinion on that. I feel like the red one is pretty clean, but honestly, I'm going to go for the black one because I'm going to throw that shit on my keys and just call it a day. I feel like it's a utility knife that you could use for other things as well. So it's pretty good and it's a good thing to have on your keys. So that's exactly what I'm going to do with that one. I feel like resale wise, it probably won't have none and it is a US exclusive. I don't know why they've been doing so many US exclusives when it comes to knives, weapons, band-aids, like a lot of these random things, they just throw it as a US exclusive, which kind of sucks for EU. But hey, there's nothing we could do. These shits are going to drop. At least the resale won't be too high. So if you do want it, you still could get it. We got this poncho right here, which they can hold like they can hold that to the max degree. I don't need that at all. Like, bro, who is wearing a poncho on the regular? Like, I'm not trying to do that shit at all. Like, that's not even in the back burner. It's not even in my thoughts. They can straight up keep the poncho. I don't need that shit. It says super and then it says Eam on the back, but it's the branding ain't gonna save it, bro. The branding does not save everything. And this is one of those pieces where they tried it, but it just didn't go through. So we gonna leave that shit right there. It's probably gonna be hella expensive too, because it is Gore-Tex. And that just gives me another reason to to not get it like just to avoid it and just keep it out of my way like we don't need that there's literally a couple items that we need this week and i'm gonna discuss that in a little bit but we do got this tote backpack this one shouldn't be retailing for too high i can't see it doing big numbers like it just it doesn't make no sense the highest i can see that shit going for is 128 138 and low key i might consider it in that camo colorway because i do need a backpack it just all depends on does this shit zip or not like is it gonna be open at the top because that would not be a good look they actually added these utility pouches this is kind of like an id carrying case for the neck area and it doesn't look too bad it reminds me of like a mini shoulder bag but this is strictly for like money wallet cards shit like that because this doesn't look like it can fit much more it's not too bad if you're trying to go for it i honestly do like that camo the black all these colors are actually pretty clean even that blue is hitting to me but hey i don't know the retail on this one might be like 50 dollars 40 something dollars that's my prediction on that we do have a couple miscellaneous dookie pieces that we're going to cover real quick. And then we probably going to get straight up out of here. But hey, we got these barbed wire moto jersey. This is like a racing jersey kind of. But the dookie is version possible. I don't like this. Not one bit. It's straight ass. I do like the barbed wire around the cuff. But that's pretty much it. We got the v-neck action. They can miss me with that shit. We got this like diarrhea Barney colorway in the front representing it. They can keep that for sure. Then we do got the pants to match. The pants to match is equally as ass we don't need those shits either we got this raised logo six panel i feel like i've spoke about this before but if i haven't told y'all already this shit is ass like that's probably what i would have said if i saw it before this shit is still ass it got this supreme like on a little rubber plate on it or something then it has the arc logo on the back and i spoke about it a little bit too much that shit is cheeks a little bit more cheeks for the week that's all we have for the drop list so far let me know what y'all gonna be going for personally i like the box logo goes i like the little organizer utility pouch that they added the poncho is straight weak i don't need that shit that shit is cheeks the box logo is coming out in four colorways for the hoodie it got the navy the black the red and the gray which is iconic colorways in my opinion the shirt only in three colors i don't know if they're gonna do four or three but we only got pictures for three so far that's still pretty clean we got that book bag looking tote which isn't too bad as well these are some of the pieces that you get if you can't get the box logo Logo, I would go for that little hammock, which is fire nonetheless. The knife is fire. Poncho is still cheap.
cheeks the little book bag organizer is pretty clean as well and low-key that's pretty much the only things that i would even consider going for this week the week is fire don't get it twisted there's a lot of pieces like five pieces that are actually pretty clean if you can't get it just wait for next week that's how i'm rolling when it comes to supreme if i take an l and the resells like 2k they can keep it i'm not i'm not trying to go out the way like that for some supreme but if you did enjoy this video go ahead and leave a like down below subscribe to the channel if you are new and would enjoy more of this type of content let me know what type of videos you would like me to make down below and i guess i would catch y'all on the next one peace stay up and i'm out literally dog gotta go